The Fellow Stag XF. The Fellow Stag has a shorter height, which makes it perfect for methods of a continuous slow pour. Brewing with a Stag X gives you more control over water dispersal and extraction. It is vacuum insulated for excellent heat retention. This is important due to the steel's higher conductivity and lower specific heat capacity. Those terms mean that the material of the steel requires less energy to warm it up. And the more conductive a material is, the more heat will travel out of your brew and into the cone. The insulation helps mitigate this. Before we start brewing, there are some things we need to prepare. Have a kettle ready with at least 500 milliliters of water, a scale, and a grinder. Weigh out 16 grams of coffee. Our recommended grind settings are 3 to 3.2 on the Fellow Ode and 13 to 16 on Barazza products. If you have a different grinder, you can find the manufacturer's recommended grind settings on our blog. We will be setting the kettle to 95 degrees Celsius. As always, we are pre-wetting the filter to increase the brewer's temperature and rinse off any impurities in the paper filter. Discard the water. Replace the brewer and the carafe, and make sure the fellow stag is sitting straight. We'll bloom the coffee by adding 40 grams of water. Let it bloom for 45 seconds. The reason for the prolonged bloom time is the brewer's inherent design. Because the fellow stag is a flat bottom brewer, it becomes slightly more restricting than a conical brewer. We are going to pour using concentric circles, and we will be pausing in between pours. Perform the first pour by adding 60 grams of water to reach 100 grams. Let it drain for 15 to 20 seconds. Perform the second pour by adding 80 grams of water to reach 180 grams. Let it drain for 15 to 20 seconds. Perform the third pour by adding 70 grams of water to reach 250 grams. Let it drain and it should finish by 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Serve and enjoy.